Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry and tonight I am going to be working on a 12 by 16 level 1 canvas. We're going to run it horizontally and we're going to do some fall colors on a white background. But before we get started, I just want to say hello to a few new um, subscribers. Uh, Janet A, Banjo, Mark in Texas, hello, Sarah C, Sandra M, and Sarah Clark. Thank you all for joining me tonight and thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. So again, it's a 12 by 16 canvas horizontally and I'm going to try using some fall colors on a white background. I'm hoping that the white doesn't mute them too much, but the colors I've chosen I think would get um, too muddied in a black background. So that's why I've chosen a white background. So I'm going to flood the canvas and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, everybody, I am back, and um, uh, tonight's colors, again, are going to be fall colors. Here's our beautiful white background. Um, I used the hair dryer, and it's nice and smooth. I don't see any bubbles, uh, but I'm going to torch it because I don't, I can't see any reflection, so um, I'm going to go ahead and torch the bubbles. Yeah, I guess there were a few. Okay. All right, so we've got the bubbles torched, and um, um, again, tonight's colors are fall colors. So I have a few colors that I have pre-mixed myself that I'm going to be using. Uh, the first one is this sort of burnt orange color, and I made this a, while, a few videos ago, and honestly, I don't remember what colors I used. I'm guessing a orange, a red, a yellow, and a brown, but I'm not sure. The next one is in my old metallic lemon yellow bottle. Um, I added some brown and red to make this mustardy color. Then I'm going to put in our DecoArt Extreme Sheen Copper. I was going to go with gold, but I decided that copper would go better with this color scheme. Next is our Master's Touch Light Olive Green. I then am going to be using Liquitex Basic Burnt Umber. And lastly, um, this is a dark red, again I mixed up for another fall painting that I did earlier, the um, striped cell one with the maple leaves, um, and I don't remember what color combination I used to make this honestly. But those are our colors for tonight. So they're very fallish, and um, I'm hoping that they won't muddy up too much in this um, white background, but we'll see. So let's get started. So burnt, or um, excuse me, yeah, burnt orange is going to be first, and I'm going to do sort of a um, Dutch pour, but sort of a blowout. So we're gonna we're gonna put some dots in here tonight. So I've got the burnt orange, and I'm just randomly placing some dots around the canvas because again I want this to be a fall painting um, so hence the kind of muted darker colors not something I would normally choose but gotta go out of our comfort zone okay then I'm gonna save the copper for last now we're going to use the, oh my goodness, the, uh, <laughs> the Master's Touch Light Green, uh, Light Olive Green, but it didn't want to open. All right. This one makes a great accent color. Um, I've used it with blues. I had that pink and green one painting recently that was my little trial. Um, I like this color. I never liked it before. But I like this color, honestly, as, a, as an accent color. Uh, I think that's enough of that. Okay, now our burnt umber. And again, brown is not a favorite color of mine either, but I have been using it a lot lately. Um, again, kind of as an accent color. And I really like it. 
I'm just making these dots a little bit smaller because they're going to expand. Um, the, this paint is a little bit waterier, waterier than the other paints. We've already got some big bubbles popping up that we're going to have to pop. Okay, um, and then I have my mixed up crazy red from our um, striped maple leaf painting a few videos ago. I don't want to use too much red, but enough to so that we have a few dots here and there. Okay. Um, I think that's good. Okay, and now I'm going to use my copper. And then we're going to, um, we're going to blow this out, but we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, torch the bubbles first. So before we do that, here's our color combination. So there's the burnt orange. Don't, uh, this is not lemon yellow. This is mustard yellow. The uh, Master's Touch Light Olive Green, Liquitex Basic Burnt Umber, the red I had mixed up, and then my Deco Art Copper. So those are our fall colors for tonight. And the painting actually looks kind of pretty the way it is. Okay, so move these out of the way and we will torch the bubbles. And before I forget, um, at the beginning of my videos, you know that I have been thanking my subscribers and welcoming new subscribers. Um, if you're wondering why it takes a little while to hear your name, keep in mind that, um, number one, I work a full-time job. Number two, um, I have to put or have to prepare videos a few weeks ahead of time to make sure that I can still get them out in three days, um, just in case there's any issues um, with medical issues within the family. So I like to have videos out there long enough. So if you don't hear your name right away after you subscribe and you hear other names, don't worry about it. At the time I'm reading your name is when I've gotten your new subscription. It's just it takes me a while to get videos out. So I just didn't want you to think that I was, you know, just waiting to, to um, announce your name. Okay. I kind of like it the way it is. What do you think? It's kind of pretty. Okay, let's blow it out. So, we are going to use the Revlon dryer again. I haven't been using my other dryers because these pa these canvases are um, kind of small. But this is my Revlon. It has the high-low button and it has this little power button. We've tried it without the nozzle and it doesn't work. So we're going to use the nozzle. And we're going to go on low, and we're just going to blow it out and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, 
Okay, so let me tell you my thought process was don't blow anything purposefully. This was all about just letting it go. And honestly, there's stuff popping all over here that I really like. I wish you guys could see, and you will in a minute, but you could see what's popping through here. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of a tilt. There's some white areas here that I'm not too thrilled about, but I don't want to blow it again. So I just want to pour off, you might say, the excess paint. Because again, I didn't blow it out in any particular pattern because I was trying to let the paint sort of create its own fall, paint, you know, fall composition. And I really like what's going on. Okay, I'm going to set it down. I like it just like that. Um, <clears throat> All of the colors are showing. All of the colors are popping through each other. There's distinct patterns in, um, like the brown here, the, gr the green here, the mustard here, the red here. Um, and then there's all the stuff popping through in the center here. It's really quite pretty. And the, the more that pops through is different colors. Like the yellow, it's popping through red. The brown, it's popping through um, yellow. Uh, green, it's popping through gold. Brown, it's popping through red. It looks beautiful. Oh, that is so cool. Um, I do see my corners do need some help, so I'm going to fix those. But don't forget, before leaving your painting, um, make sure you take a popsicle stick, a people stick, whatever you have that you use, and scrape the underneath of your canvas to get all this extra paint off so that it doesn't pull all the stuff that you like on the canvas, off the canvas. But yes, I do see I have some fixes to do. So let me do that, and then I'm going to bring you down and show you. I really like this painting. It is really pretty. It's really, I mean, it's just growing as, it, as we're talking. So give me a second, and I'll be right back. So here is our final painting, and... I do love fall colors. It looks like a fall um, uh, pile of leaves. And kind of the effect I was going for, just kind of letting the paint flow and do its thing. Um, I really like how the colors came out. It's very fallish to me, and that's what I was going for. But let me bring you down and show you some of the cells that are popping up. So bear with me. Let's look at these. So here's the first corner. And I absolutely love how this corner looks. Where you'll see that the other corners are kind of a distinct color. This one is just blossoming with cells of the um, copper and the brown, the burnt umber. And then there's some of the cells coming through the white. And then I just love, here's that where I was showing you the brown and the gold. Now we've got the... Um, reds and the orange popping through as well with the green. But as we go up here, we have green on green cells, and then we have this little bit of brown right here that was kind of blown over the white, but there's some ghostly things happening right now coming through there that are just beautiful. And I think that will develop a, um, a bit more, and we'll probably see a little bit more out of that. And then look right here. All of the colors are just sort of shooting through that white. The reds, the greens, the, the um, copper, the mustard. Here's some more of the green in the upper corner. That one's full of cells as well. And then kind of going across the painting, we got some accents of, um, of the burnt umber in the white. And then we've got the, the red, the copper, and the green. And then this cute little corner has like a little cow speckle there with some red and then some of the burnt umber and copper mixed. And then we're going down the side and look at the yellow cells. So we have cells of all of the colors, which is so pretty. And then here's our far corner, which is red. So let's take a look up top again and show you the whole painting. So this is our little fall leaf painting, and 
Um, I really think it came out um, kind of, I mean, mostly like I expected. I was actually thinking that the brown or the white was going to mute the colors even more than it did, and it really didn't. I mean, I can distinctly see the copper, the yellow, the mustard, the um, olive, the red, the brown. I can see them, so it didn't take away um, as much as I thought it was going to. So there you go. That's our painting for tonight. And um, I just want to say again, thank you to all my subscribers. Love y'all. And I want you to take care of yourselves. Until our next video, I will talk to you then.